Buddha Purnima is a day of great joy and reverence for Buddhists around the world. It commemorates the birth, enlightenment of Gautama Buddha. This auspicious day falls on the full moon of the Vaisak month, usually in April or May. On this day, we remember the Buddha's teachings and strive to embody his wisdom and compassion in our own lives. Buddha Purnima is a time for reflection and renewal. We take time to meditate on the Buddha's teachings and to cultivate peace and understanding within ourselves. The celebrations of Buddha Purnima vary across different cultures and traditions. However, the essence remains the same to honor the Buddha and his teachings. People visit temples and monasteries, offer prayers and light candles, and participate in processions and chanting ceremonies. It is a day of spiritual significance and cultural vibrancy. The Buddha's teachings of peace, compassion, and mindfulness are universal and timeless. By embracing these teachings, we can create a more peaceful and harmonious world for ourselves and for generations to come. Buddha Purnima coincides with a celestial spectacle, a full moon. This is no mere coincidence. The full moon is a powerful symbol in Buddhism, representing enlightenment and spiritual awakening. Just as the moon reflects the sun's light, so too do we reflect the Buddha's wisdom when we cultivate our minds. The moon's cycle of waxing and waning also mirrors the impermanence of all things, a central tenet of Buddhist philosophy. As we observe the moon's changing phases, we are reminded to let go of attachments and embrace the present moment. In many cultures, the full moon is associated with heightened energy and spiritual sensitivity. This makes it an ideal time for meditation and reflection, practices that are central to Buddha Purnima. The astronomical significance of Buddha Purnima adds another layer of meaning to this special day. Buddha Purnima falls during the month of Vaishak in the Hindu calendar, a time of great spiritual significance. This month is considered highly auspicious for spiritual practices and is associated with purity, abundance and new beginnings. The full moon of Vaishak, known as Vaishak Purnima, is especially revered. In Hinduism, Vaishak Purnima is dedicated to Lord Vishnu, the preserver of the universe. This convergence of Buddhist and Hindu traditions on Vaishak Purnima highlights the shared spiritual heritage of these two ancient faiths. Despite the differences in rituals and beliefs, the underlying message remains the same, a quest for enlightenment, compassion, and liberation. This shared aspiration fosters a sense of unity and interconnectedness among people of different faiths. Vaishak Purnima is a testament to the rich tapestry of Indian culture, where different faiths and traditions have coexisted and enriched each other for centuries.
The Himalayas, often referred to as the roof of the world, hold a special significance for Buddhists. This majestic mountain range is home to numerous monasteries and pilgrimage sites that come alive during Buddha Purnima. Among these, Dharamshala, the residence of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, stands out as a beacon of peace and spiritual learning. Dharamshala, nestled amidst the Dauladhar range, transforms into a vibrant hub of activity during Buddha Purnima. Nestled in the serene landscape of the Himalayas, the Dharamshala Monastery stands as a beacon of peace and spiritual resilience. Here, monks lead a life of simplicity and devotion, embodying the teachings of the Buddha in their daily practices. Pause 3S. Through meditation, prayer and service, they cultivate a profound sense of inner peace and compassion, offering a living example of the Buddha's path. Pause 2 S. Yet not all monks enjoy such freedom. Across the border in China, many Tibetan monks face persecution, their spiritual practices restricted, and their freedoms curtailed. Despite these challenges, their unwavering faith and resilience shine through, inspiring countless others around the world. As we reflect on their plight, let us also celebrate their unyielding spirit and commitment to the Buddha's teachings. The Dharamshala Monastery and the monks within it, both free and oppressed, remind us of the enduring power of faith and the universal quest for enlightenment. Pause 2 S. Text element, may the light of Dharma shine brightly in every heart. Pause 2 S. Let us honor their journey and integrate their strength into our own lives. Monks and devotees from all over the world gather here to participate in prayers, teachings, and meditation retreats. The Tsuglakang Temple, the main temple in Dharamshala, is the focal point of celebrations. The temple is adorned with colorful prayer flags, and butter lamps illuminate the sacred space, creating an ethereal ambience. Buddha Purnima in Dharamshala is not just about rituals, it's about experiencing the essence of the Buddha's teachings in a place that embodies peace and tranquility. The celebration of Buddha Purnima is interwoven with folklore and mythology, adding a layer of cultural richness to the occasion. One such tale revolves around Goddess Lakshmi, the Hindu goddess of wealth and prosperity, and the Pipal tree, considered sacred in both Hinduism and Buddhism. Legend has it that Goddess Lakshmi, in her boundless compassion, wanted to make herself available to her devotees every day. She chose the pipal tree as her abode, declaring that she would reside in the tree on Saturdays, specifically during the auspicious time of Pradosh Kal, the junction of day and night. This association of the pipal tree with Goddess Lakshmi has led to the tradition of worshipping the tree on Saturdays, especially during Vaishak Purnima. Devotees circumambulate the tree, offer prayers and light lamps, seeking blessings for prosperity and well-being. The tale of Lakshmi and the Pipal tree highlights the interconnectedness of different faiths and beliefs in India. Buddha Purnima is not merely a commemoration of the past. It is a living tradition that continues to inspire and guide people in their daily lives. Various customs and practices are observed on this day each carrying symbolic meaning and spiritual significance. One such tradition is the practice of planting trees, particularly bamboo. Bamboo, with its rapid growth and resilience, symbolizes strength, flexibility, and spiritual growth. Planting a bamboo sapling on Buddha Purnima is seen as an act of nurturing life and contributing to the well-being of the environment. Another widespread tradition is the practice of releasing caged birds, this act symbolizes liberation from suffering and the cultivation of compassion. Acts of generosity and kindness are also an integral part of Buddha Purnima. While Buddha Purnima finds its roots in the Indian subcontinent, its message of peace, compassion and enlightenment resonates far beyond geographical boundaries. With the global spread of Buddhism, Buddha Purnima is now celebrated in various countries, each adding its unique flavor to the festivities. In Southeast Asian countries like Thailand, Myanmar and Sri Lanka, where Theravada Buddhism is prevalent, Buddha Purnima, known as Vesak, is celebrated with great fervor. Temples are illuminated and processions are held with devotees carrying candles and offerings. 
The highlight of the celebrations is the release of sky lanterns, illuminating the night sky with a thousand flickering lights. In East Asian countries like China, Japan and Korea, where Mahayana Buddhism is practiced, Buddha Purnima is celebrated as a time for reflection and renewal. People visit temples, offer incense, and participate in chanting ceremonies. The global observance of Buddha Purnima highlights the unifying power of spiritual teachings. In the year 2024, Buddha Purnima falls on May 23rd. This date, determined by the lunar calendar, marks the full moon of the Vaisak month. As with every year, Buddhists around the world will observe this auspicious day with reverence and joy. Temples and monasteries will be adorned with vibrant decorations, and the air will be filled with the sound of chanting and prayers. Devotees will gather to offer alms to monks, participate in meditation retreats, and listen to discourses on the Buddha's teachings. The spirit of compassion and selflessness, central to the Buddha's teachings, will be palpable in the air. Buddha Purnima is more than just a religious holiday, it is a celebration of human potential, a reminder of our capacity for enlightenment and compassion. It is a time to reflect on the timeless wisdom of the Buddha and to integrate his teachings into our lives. The Buddha's teachings are as relevant today as they were centuries ago. In a world often characterized by conflict, greed and delusion, his message of peace, compassion and mindfulness offers a path to individual and collective well-being. As we celebrate Buddha Purnima, let us carry the spirit of this day forward, not just in our words, but in our actions. Let us strive to cultivate peace within ourselves and in our relationships with others. May the wisdom and compassion of the Buddha guide us on our journey. Pause 2S.